Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, now look what we have here. Now, I one of my folks again out there in Dolph Land, they told me about this before. But, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, um, I understand, like, in this time that it's going to be a lot of, like, heated discussions because, like, it's people not meaning to blame it on, like, other people that they know have love, love for Young Dolph. But, you know what I'm saying? At this moment, there's a lot of, again, um, uh, emotions, like, that's, that's very, uh, again, that's attached to Young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? Being sent up. As always, as always. Rest in peace to Young Dolph. Condolences to the family. Shout out to the Paper Route Empire. Keep doing y'all thing, man. Keep Glock, Moochie Grape, J, J Sizzle, uh, Paper Route Woo, Kenny Money, and the rest of the guys on the squad. Keep doing y'all thing. And Grove Hero, man, appreciate you too, my G. And again, shout out to all my folks out there in Dolph Land. Again, right? So, what happened was, when the incident at Makita's went down, right, um, you know, again, Marcus Thornton, Young Dolph's brother, he did everything in his power to try to protect his brother. You know what I'm saying? Again, even chasing the third guy out the back room, you know what I'm saying? That he seen, you know what I'm saying, raised the blicky to aim at his brother, you feel me? So, but what happened was, right, um, you got people right afterwards. They say Key Glock was one of them. Like with some other guys who was who felt like Marcus Thornton could have done more. You feel me? And even like made jokes like, yeah, if you would have just upped it faster, you would have just did. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, at that point in time, that's not something to be joking with. You feel what I'm saying? Especially when you know, like you just watch your, your, your own brother get sent up in front of you. And again, you did everything in your power. And you got people who weren't there trying to judge, like, how much action you put on into getting to the third guy. You feel me? You know? So, again, that's what created a, a heated discussion between Marcus Thornton and Key Glock. Even to the point of uh, Marcus Thornton, he was going almost up the blicky on Key Glock, but the other guys, they had to cool it down. Like I told y'all, that's because... When guys are heated, you know what I'm saying? It's it's an any normal this any normal circumstance or situation that when you feel not only you, but when you and guys that you are associated with, when all y'all feel like y'all could have done more, it's gonna be a lot of blaming. You feel what I'm saying? It's gonna be well, I could have done this, and somebody else said you, yeah, you should have done that, and then somebody else said, well, you should have did this, right? It goes in. With in life, um, uh, basket, uh, sports, right? If I'd have did, if I'd have made this path, if I'd, right? Um, I don't want to associate it with that. I'm just associating it until like when guys don't mean to have a discontent. Now, Marcus Stewart and Young and, uh, and Keith Glock, they got a genuine love like for, for one another. You know what I'm saying? So again, that was one of those things that was, it was bound to happen. And not only that, it was also, that uh, uh, Moochie Grape, uh, Marcus Thornton, had also got into a little back and forth with Moochie Grape. Because, again, these are guys almost trying to test folks gangster. Like, hey, no, nah, you should have did this, should have did that. Like, where was you at? Like, trying to question where was he standing in the room while, while all this was going down. And it almost feel, made him feel some type of way, which, yes, any person would, especially... When that was your sibling and you was there to watch them get sent up. So that automatically draws you to be overly emotional and automatically be defensive, which you have to write to based on that circumstance, that situation. Right. So, yeah, man. But now everything's back. Cool. They all back. Good. They now they main thing is to focus on is to try to, again, get justice for young Dolph. And to try to, and to try to, not try to, but make sure that they keep the paper route empire afloat. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, that was just a, a heated discussion. Like, with some guys that said some words that 
They ain't mean to say. Key Glock said this, that, and the third. Marcus, Thur Marcus Thornton said this, that, and the third again. Um, some very, it was like a very heartfelt situation because when you understanding the reason why they having this like discontent for one towards one another it's over young Dolph being sent up as always again rest in peace to young Dolph condolences to the family like all and as always man subscribe to the channel like comment subscribe all that man and again appreciate you guys so that was that was basically uh what I was bringing to you here today so what I'm saying is right if you guys here in the media, because I know right now it's a lot of throwing out, oh, this PRE artist is having um, a, a issue with this PRE artist. Nah, it ain't, trust me, it ain't to that magnitude. Again, I got folks out there in Dolph Land. Everything, everything, I ain't saying everything is peachy and cream, but trust me, everything is afloat. Everything going as planned as Young Dolph would want it to. Again, those were just based on guys that was saying they could have done more. They wish they would have done more. You know what I'm saying? Because let's be real. Like, that was just, uh, it was a messed up situation how Young Dolph got moved out the way. You know what I'm saying? Especially when guys felt like I should have been there with him. Oh, when he shot him, then you got, you know, Snoop Bands. Remember I did the video on him because even folks was like, Man, like when he called me, I should have just went on out the door and met him and that one would have never happened. So that's what I'm saying like that is guys that's automatically blaming themselves for something that somebody else done. But they doing that because they felt like they could have done more. And if they was just done a little more extra, Young Dolph would still be here. Again, that's that's uh, regular things that us regular humans do. When things are not going the way that we wanted to, it's either one, we blame somebody else, or two, we blame ourselves. So again, that's why I'm explaining this to you guys. So again, there's no real um, discontent or no um, um, beef or animosity between any PRE artists amongst themselves. Again, it was just based on a heated debate because you got guys blaming themselves, guys blaming other people because... Again, Dolph was, he was so much appreciated and loved that now you guys watching like, man, did you, did you have something to do with this? Now guys that had like really genuine love for one another, they're, they're questioning one another motives, you know, in this type of situation, especially when every one of them, right? Now you got Keith Glock, he got his own guys he hang with, Cutthroat, right? And you got Moochie Grape, you know what I'm saying? Grape Street. He got his guys who we, who we click with. And then same thing goes for uh, Snoop Bands and, um, and Kenny Money, all right? So um, when, like, say if Snoop Bands sees Key Glock with a guy that he's not used to seeing him around, or he feel like he's, a, he's an opposing op to PRE. Snoop Bands is going to feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel like, why is this dude around here? Like, why you bring him around here now? Similar, vice versa. If any one of those guys start hanging with somebody different or with somebody that Young Dolph wouldn't ever, like, invite around the PRE circle, guys' um, loyalty will start to get questioned. And again, that's a normal thing. I'm not saying that's going, that's happening now. But again, I'm just saying that what you guys see is just emotions, okay? Guys feeling some type of way because it's still, like, to them, it's, it's almost still new. Because, again, Young Dolph, he was doing so much in a small amount of time that his, his legacy throughout Memphis, period, is really, uh, is really setting in, Right? And now I believe like as day go day go by, like a holiday come by, say if like now on the 4th of July come around, you know, Young Dolph usually buy a whole bunch of fireworks. He usually throw some type of event, you know what I'm saying, for South Memphis, you know what I'm saying, or for the Memphis residents, period. But now um, that event may not go down this year or it may if somebody picks up, but who knows, hey, 
Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.